Hello and welcome to Tuesdays with Annette. I'm so glad you joined me today for our home ec with Annette class because today we're doing a super, super, super easy recipe. It's out of book two, which is a fabulous book because it also has the Christmas section. Hello, isn't it 11 weeks till Christmas? Oh my goodness. Anyway, this is what we're making on the show today. The peppermint bubble bar. Now the reason I chose this recipe is because it's actually changed. So I'm gonna to talk to you about that shortly. So I'm just gonna move this over here for now. But let's, before we do anything, let's go wash our hands because we wanna be nice and clean and hygienic when we're cooking. And I'm using the Deterra um, On Guard. So it doesn't even need water with it. And it's a bit stinky, but I feel like it's because it's stinky, it's probably really good for you. Um, but it's a good habit when you start cooking to always go and wash your hands first. Whether it's COVID or not, it's always been a good thing to do. All right, so let's rinse our hands. You might have already done your hands before we started because you know I always start with this on a Tuesday. And on a Thursday, I always do it before we start the show. Now, the winners from last week's show, my gosh, you put some beautiful photos up, made me fizzy fabulous. I felt so excited to see your gorgeous um, honey mustard chicken recipes. And the three lucky winners this week were Wendy O'Brien, Joan Morley, and the fabulous Jessie Claven. So you girls have all won a personal song, signed copy of book five. I've already done it. It's in the mail, ready to go. So now for this week's recipe, let me talk about it just quickly. The reason I chose this one, not only the fact that it's a fabulous one for a cooking class, especially for the young, because it doesn't need an oven. Um, there is a little bit of chopping in the beginning, which maybe the adult can do if you've got younger children. Um, but at the same time, it's super, super easy. But Daryl Lee, in the original recipe, let me just grab the original. Now, whether you've got the old version of this or this one, which is the updated, it's the same. And it says here, two by 40 grams, peppermint nougat with bars in the brackets Daryl Lee. Well, let's do take two for 2020 because thank you, Daryl Lee, you've discontinued that bar. And it's kind of important because as I go through the ingredients, you're gonna see it's one of the main things in the recipe. But I've saved the day and I have worked out another version of it, which you're getting today. But firstly, I have to apologize. There was a typo. I'm gonna say it was Diane's fault, but actually it was mine. Um, and I wrote in three peppermint patties, which is the Nestle, but it's actually meant to be four. I know, I'm sorry if you're sitting there with three, you can't make it right now, I'm sorry. So what you need to do is go back to your store and buy one more because you do need four. Now, just to let you know, Woolworths have them on special until tomorrow, like I think tomorrow they change it. They're only 80 cents each. So pack, you know, get a few and put them away, as long as you're not tempted to eat them beforehand. But what I love about this is the Daryl Lee bar was quite expensive. Um, whereas this is, these are cheap, they're normally only a dollar. So it's actually a cheaper chocolate to include and you'll need four because with that one it was 80 grams in total and these are 20 each. That's why you need four. So apologies if you did get three, I do apologize. So we start off with the ingredients of four of the mint patties. You want a, a tablespoon of golden syrup, 60 grams or uh, four tablespoons if you want to measure it with my, you know, measure 15 mil measure spoons. And we also, yeah, so we melt that and then we're going to mix it with rice bubbles. And I'm thinking that, are these gluten free? I think they might be actually. So, you know, if you put gluten free rice bubbles in, hello, you're welcome. Now we're gonna need cooking spray to do the tray. And here's my tray, so you need a tray. So let's just check that you've got the right one. Okay, so if you've only got the three bars, um, sit back, relax and watch the show and do it this afternoon. Uh, or tomorrow. But what I want you to do is to check, this is my slab tin, okay? It's an oldie but a goodie, it looks very loved. It's 27 centimetres, and here is, it's about 17, roughly about that, for that way. So that's how you know which is the right size, because we're gonna spray it and we're gonna cut it into 15 slices. Okay, so hello if you've just joined me, welcome to the show. I'm making a peppermint bubble bar, but the new version. So we're using mint patties instead of the Daryl Lee bar because it's been discontinued. I know, 
So that's going in the filling. Now the icing, you need one and a quarter cups of sifted icing sugar. You're gonna need two tablespoons of cocoa, and I always use the play stove because I think it's fabulous, dark and rich and gorgeous, and two tablespoons of skim milk, as well as a quarter of a teaspoon of peppermint essence, which you'll get in all the supermarkets. Okay, so now the props we need, I've got a wooden spoon, I've got spatulas, I've got table, you know, dessert spoons, uh, measure spoons, I've got some measure cups to measure things with. I've got a bowl to make my icing, so let's put that over there. And hello, here's my sifter for the icing. You always want to sift icing. This is going to be to melt the filling in, and this is going to be for putting the rice bubbles in and mixing it all together. I've also got my scales here because I'm going to measure the butter really easily because I like simple, I hope you do too. So what we're going to start first with is let's chop up our mint patties. All right, now I'm an old girl and I remember these as a kid at school uh, and the other thing that I used to love that was between the two, I don't know whether you remember them, was the coconut ruff. You'd get them the same in the little round shape. So who remembers that? I oh, know, it's fantastic. So what you do is you're going to cut them and just dice them up roughly chop them and then what we do is we're going to put them in the bowl like this, this gets microwaved so it's super easy so whether you you know your kids are a bit young to be using knives or if they're okay speaking about kids hello have you been watching my fabulous little Porsche on Master Chef Junior Master Chef she's doing so well so proud of her it's so it's such an exciting time for her I've done some radio interviews with her and everything, and she just takes it all in her stride. Seriously, she's amazing. All right, so now I'm going to measure. So when you're doing something like this, I always put the bowl on first, then press the power on my digital scales because it brings it to zero. So now I can just put 60 grams, or as I said, you know, your tablespoons, four tablespoons, into the bowl. And... Oh, nearly done. So what you've done is you've chopped your, your patties up. Yes? I'm sorry if you have only three. <laughs> now we're going to put in the, we're putting the margarine. Hello, if you just join me. We're busy. You've missed everything. No, you haven't. I'm making the Peppermint Bubble Bar out of book two with the new version. Hello. Mint patties, four of them instead of the Daryl Lee Nougat bars, which you used to use too. Now we're going to get the fabulous golden syrup and we're going to do a tablespoon into the mix. And then we're going to microwave it on high for two minutes. I'm getting near the end of my little container here. Uh, if you were watching MasterChef last night, they did all about honey uh, and uh, it was fun to watch the kids buzzing around. All right, so we've got our mint patties in. We've got our 60 grams of Floralite margarine. And now we've just put in our two tablespoons of golden syrup in the soapy sink. So it's one tablespoon of golden syrup. Let's put it in the microwave. And I'm doing it on high for two minutes. So now I don't need my chopping board anymore, so I can move that out of the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to get ready for mixing it up. So what we're going to do now, if you can get your rice bubbles, and we want three cups. Now don't be generous with this, because it, otherwise if you do too much, you think, oh, I'll just throw another half a cup in. It will maybe spoil it from setting and um, holding together well. So please check as you're pouring, you want just three cups. And if you put too much in, well that's perfect, put it back. All right, so there's our rice bubbles. I can move that out of the way. Our golden syrup's out of the way. I've got some measure cups here to use. Let's, I'm gonna spray my tray. I'm gonna go to the sink so I don't get it all over the bench. Now, the tip with this particular style is that this 
bar really is a fantastic snack for the kids as well but I wouldn't recommend you put it in their lunch boxes because it's it needs to stay in the fridge and so if it's out of the fridge for a while it tends to crumble up a little bit so just make sure you keep it in the fridge and it'll be fantastic now if you're also thinking gee you know I love this recipe I've done two other types of bubble bars so in the book uh, three I've done, and I'm, you know, I think you'll be excited if you didn't know this, I've done a light Mars bar slice. Now I remember when I was a chunky chick, I used to make the traditional Mars bar and it was certainly not healthy. And if you've got an old version of that recipe, you'll see it says light Mars bars, which they've been discontinued as well. I uh, just love companies that do this to me all the time. But in the new updated versions, I've done the recipe using the normal Mars bars, so you can um, check that out as well. So uh, I've got that one. I've also got, okay, let me just get this out first. Let's give this a mix. All right, so you can see it's all mixing up nicely. So just give it a good stir. And then we're gonna pop it back in for just another minute on high and that will just have it all done so you can see this is one of those recipes that you can do blindfold i'll tell you it's so easy but the other one i was talking about that's in book four is the marshmallow fruit bubble bar and it uses marshmallows in it to melt it all up and i often make that one as a white christmas i know i mentioned is it 11 weeks till Christmas, oh my goodness. And what I do is I use white marshmallows and I use the coloured red and green um, uh, glacé cherries in it as well to give it that little bit of a Christmas look. Um, but in the normal recipe, you use any marshmallows you like. All right, in we go. So, now the good news is this recipe is only 2.6 grams of fat per serve and it's the same as what was in the other so the mint patties are actually working out to be exactly the same as the Daryl Lee so isn't that fantastic that we can still enjoy this recipe um, because when a recipe is you know missing something if they don't have an alternative what the heck do you do all right we are almost done here so now you'll be able to see that this has mixed up beautifully look at that so now I've got my my rice bubbles in there I'm going to get my wooden spoon and now just carefully because it's a bit hot I want you to scrape every morsel of this melted mix into the rice bubbles I've never froze it because I think freezing it might soften the uh, rice bubbles but it keeps in, if you put it in a good seal container, it will keep for a few days for sure. All right. So we now have got to just give this a good mix up. And I've put a sponge under the bowl because this is another little tip that when you're, oh, oh, hello. The bubbles are flying everywhere. When you're actually doing this recipe, it's quite noisy on the bench if you um, are like me with the glass and the hard bench. So that's why I put, so why have you got the sponge down there? That's why, because it makes it quieter. All right, take your time with this. You mix it all in. You want all that to coat the rice bubbles. So you can see, oh, I can hear snap, crackle, pop, hello. And um, I've never tried it with, cornflakes I've always ever done this with the rice bubbles I don't think it would be as nice mix it in really well make sure it's all in here we go looking fabulous remember we already greased this ahead so this is your peppermint bubble bar base scrape all those bubbles off there we go and Oh, look, I've missed a few bubbles, but never mind. And now put it into your slab tin. That's it. 
Get all them out. And as I said, guilt-free, 2.6 grams of fat for a slice. Ooh. Okay, now I'm going to soak that in my sink because it's, it's a bit sticky. What you're going to do now is you're going to flatten it out. So I've got a, a dessert spoon and just press it down. I reckon it's got to be cheaper than buying the bought, you know, bubble snacks that you get for kids. And I don't know, I love it when you make it yourself because it's made with love. That's right. So I'm sorry that I made a mistake on that recipe. So you now know it's four, not three. And you just spread it out flat. Take a bit of time doing it. I find this sort of spoon is the best way to flatten it. And then just go along, push it down. Oh, it's a fun recipe. I love making these with my grandkids. They love it. Although, I'm sorry, but Miss Portia, Princess Portia on Junior MasterChef, did I tell you, she doesn't like peppermint. I know. So she doesn't care about this recipe. So there is our base. So what you'll do now, I'm going to hand it to Billy. Thank you, Billy. We're going to put that in the fridge. And once it's cold, you will then, because it's cold and set, you make the icing. Now, here is my pre-made one, nice and cold and set. So we can now make the icing, so let's do that. All right, so what do we do? We need to sift one and a quarter cups of icing sugar. I might get a bigger cup, measure cup. Where's a two? Here we go. Oh, actually, can I see that? No, I can't read it. Sometimes I hate it when you get these jugs, don't you? And then they they uh, wear out on the side. All right, because I want to see the one and a quarter. So get another spoon, and we do a one and a quarter of icing sugar. So it is quite a sweet dish uh, slice. A lot of times I don't put a lot of icing sugar on top, but with this one, I thought it it would need it. One and a quarter, nearly there. I hope you're keeping up with me today. Thanks for joining me on my home ec with Annette, making the fabulous, yes, what is it? Peppermint bubble bar. All right, so we're going to put this in now to the sifter. And at the same time, grab your cocoa and two tablespoons. Remember, it's the 15 mil. I like to push it to the edge of my, my uh, container so it's flat. Always sift those in. Don't just throw them in the bowl because you'll get lumps and we do not want lumps. So let's sift that. Now, I have to tell you, I'm a bit excited here because yesterday we started the new 2020 Spring Weight Loss Challenge. We have got so many new people in. I'm so excited you're there if you're watching now. Welcome. And we're all excited because... Uh, we are making some fabulous recipes up for this week. Last night's dinner was a pizza pasta bake. I know, it's called living. And so everyone was very excited. So look, you know, it's not too late. You can still join me. We've only just started. So if you've been thinking, oh, should I do it? So join me, go to simplytogood.com.au forward slash membership, okay? And come on the ride with me. It's going to be fabulous. Yeah. All right, so now to make the icing, I'm just going to move that out of the way. Here's our slice. I just like to mix the two together. And we put in two tablespoons of milk. All right, so skim milk, of course. All right, so let's just... I always push my finger down on this so I get it exact. One. Now you might find you need a little bit more. That's fine. Leave your milk over to the side. Let's mix it and find out how much we need. You just want it so it's spreadable. And then what we'll do is we're going to add in the peppermint essence. So you get a lovely 
peppermint flavour, not only from the base, because it's quite mild, but you definitely know it's pepperminty, but by adding the peppermint essence in, just takes it to another level, let's be honest. And it's a quarter of a teaspoon, all right? So this is where you get your measure spoon out, there's a quarter, just gently pour in, and there we go. I know, how fabulous, peppermint bubble bar. It, oh, wrong lid. I'm trying to put the milk one on the peppermint essence. All right, so now let's mix this together. And I'm going to put a little bit more in. Let's just say half a tablespoon. Let's see, I really think it's important to go slowly when you're adding moisture to your icing because all of a sudden it'll get really thick and then it's all of a sudden it's really thin. So I'm just going to, a little bit more. Oh, I can smell the peppermint. And look how lovely and chocolatey it looks because of the Play-Sto. I'm going to put a tiny bit more, just a little bit more, because you want it to spread fairly easily. Here we go. That looks good to me. What do you reckon? Okay, so all it does is go on the top, spread it out, let it set, okay? Let it set because um, you can't cut it until the icing has got set. So let's put the icing on. And I think you'll find, like if you're going to me, oh, I don't really like peppermint, I'm not interested. Well, don't forget, we've got the Light Mars Bar in book three. And we've got the Marshmallow Bubble Bar in book four. All right, so spread that icing out. You don't need a you know, really thick amount. You just need to make sure there's some icing on all of it. Now, what you're going to do is if you want to win book two, which, as I said to you, it's got the Christmas section in it as well, remember, I'll tell you what you have to do because I'm in the mood to give away. That's right. It's very easy to win. All you have to do is like. Look up at me. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> you need to like, share, and then in the comment on your phone, which is the better way to do it, you take a photo of your peppermint bubble bar. Oh, look at this. I just want to bathe in it. Oh, it's so gorgeous. There we go. Another fabulous recipe. Booyah! We're done. So now next week, I'm going to be making a fantastic recipe, but I'm sure you'll be back again on Thursday, hopefully, to join me for another fabulous cooking lesson, uh, or cooking uh, uh, class. And I'm going to be making, on Thursday, uh, beef chow sim. I know. I know. I always do that with my little sim name. In every book, there's something that I do that with. So Beef Chow Sim out of book six. I'm going to be making that. I'm going to wok it up and get you cooking that one. And then next Tuesday, recipe will be on the website for you so you can download it. And hopefully this recipe will be correct. Remember, it's four patties, not three. And next week's recipe is going to be out of cooking for one or two. And it's the fish Italiano. It's, I love it. We have it a lot because it just takes fish to another level. It's got a crusty top to it. I know, it's fabulous. So now, if you want any more tips or recipes, you know where to go, simplytogood.com.au. Don't forget to sign up. It's not too late for the mentoring program, um, and you just go slash mentoring to find out more. I mean, in the end of the day, who knew weight loss was so deliciously healthy? I'm gonna set this and cut it up, and I'll put a photo in the comments for you to see later. So don't forget to put your photos in so you can be a winner too. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye now.